What is up guys, it is Jekster back again, so today we are doing it, we are finally <coughs> getting it Field done. report. I don't know if you guys Seems know what I'm, I'm the only one who made it down here. What I'm talking about is hey, the that just aces. I am so Judging by the scratch behind the walls, I better uh, get the fuck out. This is the starting out. room, before I talk to you real quick, I want to show you something. This is the cryo chambers. If you look, you can see the crew that's in there. Anybody know where they're from? It's in transit, Black Ops 1. So, we have started this out in custom games. Like I said, I'm super excited. I've been waiting forever for this. This is going to be a little bit different than my other videos, my other zombie videos. If you have not seen those, I have uh, the tutorial one, I've got the Voyage of Despair, and I've got the IX, the walkthroughs, the more like introductions to the maps and first looks. Those are in the description in the Black Ops or playlist. If you want to go ahead and go check that out after this video. Then you can get a full scoop of all of the zombies action we got going on and uh, some other Black Ops 4 stuff. So once you come out of that first room, there's nothing really in there. Just so where the zombie spawns. You got this here. This is the RK7 garrison. It's just like the RK5 basically. It's the, the RK5 and then over here. Over that. Here somewhere. Shiva. Down here. This is basically the Shiva. Just like that, his baseball uh, career is ruined. From Black Ops 3, if you want to compare. So those are your two guns that you start out with in this main room. Ain't that a pretty this postcard? Is, uh, there's the Greetings bridge. from you hell. Remember the Wish bridge. you were here. It's no longer there. There's the rest of the prison. I am on custom games, like I said, so I've adjusted the rules and I've adjusted you know, the score and all that so we can make this so lot easier. So when you come through that first door, when you come up there, you're going to come to this main area, and here you are. This is We're going to start our journey right here. We're going to leave these bad boys around here. But this game uh, is this map, not this. This map is supposed to be Black Ops, or Black Ops 2, 2's remastered version of Mob of the Dead, which is my all-time favorite map of all of the zombies map. So I'm super pumped to see. Now, when I first ke played this, I was like, there is just like, I don't, I don't get it. This is not, you know, Mob of the Dead. This is nothing like it. But I didn't realize, you know, what you have to actually go through. So I did play this a little bit just so I could get used to it and have a match do a full walkthrough, show you the wall gun, show you the dogs, which is a health retriever. I'm sure you guys remember that. And we're going to do all uh, the box. We're going to show you the box location, show you how to get the shield, and get pack a punch. And it's going to be one nice little type video so we're gonna get started so once you come out here we got the mog on this uh, wall by right here it's a decent shotgun well worth it to have but you're gonna want to have something uh, better when you go up there and we'll get to that in a little while so first you're gonna come down and into this room right here it's like a little dungeon chamber it's a little crazy scientific you know torture chamber so you got a wall trap here you're gonna have to turn on the power first now you got a wall trap here um, then when you come around here, you're going to wait for that right there because they're going to go out that door. You're going to try to keep luring whatever zombies that you have saved into this room because here is the very first dog location right here. So we're going to feed this bad boy the uh, zombies he needs and I believe, after testing it, it is six zombies. And get this first one started. Holy there he is. Hello, doggy. <laughs> Alright guys, jumped right out of the wall there, didn't you? Moments when we finish this Alright guys, here is our sixth Scratch one zombie grabber. right here. I believe that should finish it off. And you can see we're on round two. I've managed to keep this going. And there it is, six zombies. To fill that up for this one, on the wall right here we got the GSK, GKS. I always say GSK. We got the GKS. And then as you come around, you can see there's not much else in here besides, like I said, this trap. But there is a box location right here, next to here. There's the dog box location. You can see that. So what you're going to want to do is, that's where we came in to begin with. You're going to want to come this way. Okay, not much here, but this little canal. You got this here, build a, uh, build a bob, build, build bench, or whatever, workbench here. This one uh, we might use later to build the shield. Uh, it just depends on where we're at the time. But there are two other locations. I'll show you them in the map too. This is going to be your teleporter. Instead of teleporters like um, Revelations and Black Ops 3 or whatever, they've got um, these things and it goes under the ground. It's pretty cool. It's like a teleporter. They're all over the map. As you can see, What's the matter, boy? You hungry? 
So we're going to head up here, okay, and we got the uh, vapor right here. You are going to want to, if you can't afford to, you're going to want to get that. Whatever Rick Toffin is babbling about, need that I'm going to need lots of these. Catwalk, and I'll show you what I need later. As you come through here, you're going to come out here to this big area. That goes out to the main area where the mod was. We'll show you that in just a moment. The first perk here is going to be right there, but you're going to need to turn on the power. So when you come into here, this is like the power room. The first power switch is going to be right here. There's this little sign that says lights out next to it. Now, once you turn Let this on, there be light. Hard to believe this junk still works. Switch, switch once he comes, you're going to want to kill him because you're going to need the keys that he's going to drop. But at some point, you'll face him and he will uh, drop the keys. So you're going to want to get those at one point because you're going to need that to get the shield. On this wall, as you come in the right over there, we got the MX9 on the wall right to the right. And in this room, you don't have anything except for box location which the box is here at this time I'm not going to need it so I'm not going to worry about that yet as you can see it's very easy to dodge the zombies in this game that's what I do love about it I do have them on walk since we are in custom game so what you got to do is circle around after you've got that fur and you come through here as you can see we are back to the main area that's where we started out here's the mog right so this is where we're at so what we're going to do next is we're going to be heading up here to this catwalk. Now, before I enter this, I want to give you guys a little warning. Before you go in here, you are going to need a decent gun because it doesn't matter if you saved one zombie out here, there's no zombies out here. As soon as you open this door, several zombies do come. They just spawn, they come out quick, and not only that, there are holes along the wall in that narrow canal that are going to have arms sticking out. So they're going to hit you. You're going to get hit quite a few times, so you're going to have to be able to take the zombies out as they come at you. I have failed several times this, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right in, but the zombies are on walk because I'm in a custom game, so it's be as hard. But trust me, the MOG is not going to get a gun. You'll get the first five zombies out of the way, and then when you reload, they're going to swarm you and kill the crap out of you. So you want to have uh, some kind of automatic or at least semi-automatic where you can aim down the sides and hit heads or something. But you'll see. Here we go. I'm going to Way paper. in. Great spot for an ambush. So they're coming slow. Right ready, now, fellas. Kind of walk, see how many they are coming. Go back to hell. Tell your friends. See, they come from behind, from, from the front. So they're going to want to hit them. Oh. They're going to want to just take them out. See the hands on the side, too? I'm going to reach out for them. This thing's hurt. You want to get through it. Now, as soon as you come through here, you can see Brutus over there, right? He's gonna still call all these at you and some dogs are gonna come. And you gotta watch out because sometimes Brutus will come back Great. to you. Great. Power's out again. Start attacking Thanks, you now. Thanks, asshole! And then Brutus very quick and I'll turn around and he actually came back to you. But once you come up there, once you get through that little... Start a cool family up. heirloom and all. Once you get through Let's that hope little, it kills as good as it looks. Canal here, that dark area, you're gonna wanna come up this canal here. Okay, try to save as many zombies, I guess, as you can because you're going to have a dog coming up soon. So when you come to this dead end area, you can go left or right. We can go ahead and go right because it's open. Left, you're going to come around to that side anyways. So it's going to all work out. When you come through here, you got the uh, the G, or the, uh, this gun right here, the Sog 9, which is what I put as my starting weapon. So that's ammo for it. Now this is the main area. This is where you start out in Black Blood of the Dead. I mean, Mob of the Dead. This is it, the map and the border here easily. And then you got two times in one of these cells. But when you come to this area, you're going to want to look for your first part. And it's going to be on one of these boxes right here. One of these serve boxes. You're going to see it. It's going to be blue, spiritually. That doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. Like ghosty looking. So we got the other shotgun here. This is the Mog 12. Uh, this is, I think it's the second location. There might be a third in the map where you can actually buy that shotgun. So you're going to come through here. I'm going to go up here and uh, keep an eye out for that blue ghosty material on the Kill you to cut box. your damn fingernails! Look at that later when we come across it. So that was the first location that you saw in that room right there. Could be where that first part would be. So here's the dog, second dog. We're going to go ahead and take care of this dog. And I'll catch you right afterwards. Here comes one for the hungry boy. Eat up, buddy. Alright, guys, I believe that is the last zombie right there. Alright. 
Alright. Now that we've corralled a few of them up. And what we're going to do is come down here. As you guys can see that there is a double times instead of, I believe it was a max uh, ammo that was right here last time. Alright, and so what we're going to do is come down here. This should be the warden's office. Okay, but we can't get in the warden's office yet because that second power switch needs to be turned on. Yes, there are two power switches in this game. Like I said, the uh, zombie, or not the zombie, the Who wants an autograph? The first Got one. my fucking pen right and here. And so now the other one should be turned off if he has hit it. He might not have yet. Whoa. Let me clear myself a That was a mean right cross. Mine was crazy better. Here. Don't worry, I'm still alive. I still got this. Soldiers. Said, the warden's office is locked until you get the second power. So what you're gonna do from this point is, as you can see, we came across from where the dog was from up from the first room. We're gonna go down here to this room right here, which goes down into uh, the cellars. As you, if you remember last time, I believe that the dead shot or double tap was right here, and there was a little power switch with it. Actually, dead shot was right here, I believe, and there's the power switch with it. And then what you're gonna do is continue around amazing seeing it all after it's remastered and everything it just it looks just as good but still even more amazing so we've got the uh, trebuchet here trebuchet <laughs> trebuchet is what I meant to say right, guys, I just remembered we need to double check before going down farther we need to see it's not here the first part the shield part not there, and it wasn't in the beginning one. It wasn't here. Okay, so that means that it's in the third location. Go to the uh, warden's office, but you can't because the door is locked because of the second power switch. So we're going to have to turn that second power switch on. So as we come down here through where Double Tap was and that other power switch, we've got this way which you can go straight through and you can see um, I'm not going to go that way yet because that's going to go the uh, through the showers and we're going to need to turn on the power before we get to that point if you guys remember here is where the hell's retriever is obviously there is a uh, fence here so once you get that third dog done there's a little secret way to get the hell's retriever which will be down there we're going to be doing that shortly so what we're going to do is go down to the sewers continue down to the tunnels here is where we're going to come across our first, second part location um, for the shield. This is going to be the actual metal door part, whatever, for the shield. And this is going to be the first location. So it can either be behind one of these doors right here, or these walls. Most of the time, if it's going to be on one of these, it's going to be down behind the third one right here, which it is not. So it's going to be one of the other locations. The other locations for the shield part is going to be here. Let me show you. It can either be right here, which it's not there either. That means it's going to be right here. And here we are. That is a nice door. Well, and trust get me, the first I know part doors. The first piece, Open them all the time. Matter, uh, for the first part of the shield. Normally, most times when I play, it is there at that first um, starting room for the original Wall of the Dead uh, on that switch. But uh, it's going to be at the last location. So here's the next power switch. We're going to go in here. You remember this, guys? This is, now we do have the ICR right here instead of the MP5, I believe, that was there. So we're going to switch the Just that a quick the stop, RC. he said. ICR what is amazing in this game. So you guys shit. remember this goes to the docks. We're not going to go there yet. Just yet. If you guys want to know where the power is, it took me forever to go around this room. I know where it's at, but i got to show you something. This room right here that did not exist last time. There it is. You're going to come around here. You're going to see three power switches. One of them is not going to be... Silent is back so online. Flip that one. In your Once face, you do, Warden. Lewis is going to appear. You're going to have to face it. This fucking guy again? But I've got hey, him on wall. Take a hit, pal. Work it too hard. Going to take him out. What is that? I know, I know. Some kind of shitty magic trick. Right? It's all for the sake of the tutorial. So here is the warden's key that he dropped. What a shame. The big scary demon guard dropped his key. Right so you're going to want to pick I'll that up because you definitely need it. 
and instead of going back up, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go around here. This guy, the, the way the guy I'm doing this is I'm laying it out so you can hit all of this stuff at once. It all kind of works out because everything is, is in the same path line, so you just gotta hit it in this order, you can get everything. So we're gonna go right through here to our second perk. You guys remember this is where the docks were. Uh, this right here is where oh, Juggernaut was. Oh, at least right I won't here. be hungry so come up here. ever again. You guys remember this? So nostalgic right now, it's just crazy. This is the gondola, it does work, but you have to turn the power on. Now, unlike the first um, Mob of the Dead, the zombie is not, or the dog is not going to be right here. You remember he was right there last time? I say we find a boat and try uh, sailing chair. off into the sunset. So, you're going to have Take a box of cigars, here, Kentucky right bourbon, the same location and a team of Russian dancers. Time. I believe that it was like a Hell's Retriever skull out here last time, I believe. So, what we're going to do now is uh, come around here. You can see that there's nothing here. So, what we're going to do <coughs> is we're going to come around here, down the docks, and you're gonna find the second build location this is for the second one we are probably gonna end up using this one or maybe the one on the top for the shield because we still have to get the other two parts uh, we got two parts we need one part so what we're gonna do is head back through here instead of taking the gondola you're gonna come back through here or you could have went the other way I guess around if you want to save points but you're gonna head back up to the tunnels we're going to actually head to the third dog. It's on the way. We're also going to hit the warden's office now. That is our next goal. Um, because we do have the warden's key. We're going to need to get in the office for two main reasons. The acid gat part is in that uh, little office. You know where the engine was to the plane. The acid gat is there. And so we're... Uh, actually, we're not going to be building the acid gat in this video. But if you do want to see a a um, video on that sorry guys I was a little distracted if you want to see a video on how to build the blender bus with the acid gat just leave that in the comments and I'll make that a video surely in the future too so as we come up here you're gonna have the warden's office right here <coughs> as you remember there's a trap here just as normal there is still the trap here it's the blade fan when you come through here there is nothing of course that it remember that's where you actually go through the wall to come and turn on the power for the warden's office and then here right here is where the engine part was, but instead you're gonna have the black. Uh, black hey, engine, check it out! I got gat, stuff! Which I'm not gonna build in this video, so I just grabbed it to show you guys. But once again, you got the vapor right here. I believe, yeah, it's the vapor. Uh, you got the vapor right here on the wall, and you got the same box location as normal. Now, this is gonna get to where it's gonna be a little bit different. Come in. Okay, that this is where you're, uh, this warden I guy think has it was problems. Speed was at. It was either speed or milking. I'm sure it's speed, I think. Well, here you're gonna have your third perk. You're gonna need that. Oh, and I remember those sound like dried cream to cheese. Get one of the skulls, turn it into the Hell's Redeemer. So this is what's different here. So you got this here fiery mess, and you just uh, buy that, and you got your third dog location right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of this dog. And we'll catch you in a second. All right, guys. So we got the dog done. Dinner time's over. Dog. Look at this little mob I've got. I'm gonna miss that little fella. Come on, you fuck! Who else wants to take a bite? So, as you take care of that third dog right there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come this way. And this is all new. This wasn't in the last one. Come this way, and you're gonna have this house here. This little shack. I don't. I don't know what it is, but this it is place it's should very should not look ominous. this nice, should it? I like this shack, though. I like this little place. It's a good little area to run around and train, but you just gotta watch out. Make sure you don't get hit in the front. So as you come around through, you can either go around that way, or you can go through this way. You're going to come to the stairs. I mean, the uh, this little teleporter to the showers right here. The reason why you want to hit that now is because the power is on. Also, there is a box location right there. The power is on, so uh, that's going to be activated. I did want to come around here to show you guys the staircase, just so that you would know. If you ever have a mob or something like I did, don't ever run up in here because you just the titan is here but this is a complete dead end you get up here and you can't get out you're done for that's it they're gonna kill you so you want to either go that way or go around this way remember there's box location there then you're gonna hit this teleporter now this right here is going to take you directly underneath where the dog was and now if we remember that where I showed you where the dog or we normally get the hell's retriever at and that is no longer there because of that fence there well we're gonna go directly under that and the actual hell's retriever is gonna be there floating above one of the rocks and we're gonna have to grab it as we go by 
So as we do this, I'm going to show you guys I'm on Xbox, so it's going to be the X button for PS4. Users, it will be square. I'm going to go through here. Out of the you frying pan. Time to write. You really don't control this. It just goes. You just got to wait until it gets to where it says. It'll show you and let you know. It's right here. Got it. Man, got it. I always That's wanted it. to get a tomahawk. That's how you get the Hell's Retriever, guys. Come out in the showers. Yeesh. These Very showers easy. are a so meat locker do is from we're hell. Go ahead and open this door right here. So we can show you guys where we were. Okay, we came through and it was above that rock right there and we just grabbed it as we went. Right? Simple as that. Very easy strategy in this game to get it. I feel like it might even be a little bit easier to get it than the uh, other game because of the steps you go through and everything. It kind of all just leans into itself. So next what we're gonna do is go up to the cafeteria. You guys remember the cafeteria? Well, here we go. We're gonna go to the cafeteria. We also have not found our um, our other part for the uh, shield. So we still got one more part. You can see right here we got one more part for the shield, two more for the ASCAT. Like I said, we're not worrying about the ASCAT. So I just want to show you guys a quick brief uh, tour of the showers. It looks exactly the same, except for instead of the shotgun, you have the Maddox here. Very useful weapon if you're training down here. So we're going to go up here. So it all works out if you take that trail. So here's that third part I was talking about. So this is the third location here. You saw the first two. What we're going to do is take this Some car right here. Some ghost now sneezes all, all over a utility shield. box and I just have to grab and a This right here is the DMR, the auger DMR. Ugh, I have used this, this better be times. useful. It's very useful um, in this kind of tight area. It's not so much but when you come out through here and you're looking up near the roof and everything, it gets a lot better. So first, I'll show you these guys right here. This is the same except for I believe it was an insta-kill last time. <clears throat> Now believe it or not, these are going to come into play, and I will show you, that's the reason why we're getting all these parts of the shield before we hit all of this stuff. You are going to need the shield to build pack a punch and that is one reason why you have to get the shield. We're going to go ahead and unlock this and show you where this was. This was that main area where we came and the warden was that way, and we decided to go right, and I told you guys we were always going to loop around here. Yep, so this is where it comes back to. So next we're going to go into the cafeteria. So much of the cafeteria. The There's off, uh, it's like the, somebody the couldn't trap. find the candy bars. The trap. It's just the same one, the acid that pours down. We do have the same box location right here. Other than that, there's nothing else in this room except for more ICR ammo, and that can come in handy very much if you're training in this room. You do have the last teleporter, though, for this area, and it, is, it goes to the west grounds. This is going to be your way to get back to the main area, where the first perk was and when we came out of the main room. Otherwise, you can't because you can't run back through that way where the warden was because the ground actually dips down and breaks and you, you've come off of a ledge and you can't get back up there. So you're going to need this. We are going to use that um, in a few moments to go back to the west ground so just to give you guys a, a small recap of everything. But first, what we're going to do is go right up here. You guys remember this way? This is straight up to the nursery or whatever it was, the, the hospital area clinic I can't remember what it is but as you go through here uh, the same thing is going to be with the part here I don't know if you guys remember that this was where one of the parts for the plane was we have another part for the you know every crew needs a guy who can so stumble there. around and we are find not gonna shit use that to get, like I said I'm not going to try to worry about the hit and the blunderbuss out of the out of the box and all that we will do that on a later video but like I said if you do want to see that video on how to do that and drop a comment and I will make it. So here is where we had Deadshot Daiquiri. Here we're gonna have our third perk for me which is that uh, had a girl once try to turn me on to stuff like this. Where you, uh, she actually, said it was that vegan. The, whatever the shit that means. The rip or whatever it's called. I don't know what. I'm not actually gonna need these perks to be used them. So I'm not really worried about it and I believe that is all of my yep that's all of my perks. That is everything. So as you come to your last perk here, we're going to try to go up to the roof. I forgot that once you turn on oh, the power, man. it also unlocks this When door. is running to the roof ever the roof a good idea? Power's open. So this is how the roof looks pretty much the same. Right? Except for it seems like they mixed in the whole roof and bridge. A little spoiler and a letdown. You don't go up to the bridge. You don't build up way in this one. All your main action happens here on the roof. This is where Pack-a-Punch is going to be. 
So first, what we need to do, we need to go and build the shield so that we can come back and get pack punch. Alright? So, what we're going to do to build the shield is we're going to hit the, uh, probably the bench table up here on the top above the first dog. These stairs that we walked by last time. This is where the showers were. We came up here. We're going to hit these stairs. Alright? You guys remember this? Go this way and usually you go that way and it would go to the, the original room, the very first starting room. But they have that broke down. So we're going to go this way right here. Alright, and now you guys know where we're at. Okay, this was it. You guys know where we're at. This is where the dog was. The very first dog, right? Right there. Came through. Warden's office is down there, right? Remember that? So what we're going to do this time is we're going to go straight back through. Here's the main... Bob of the dead room. And you're going to come up here, and this is where the gondola is. Remember the gondola? So, instead of hitting the gondola right now, we're going to go ahead and build the shield right here, because it's just easy to hit it here. It's convenient. It's on the All right, decomposers. The shield's a little different than you guys shield. remember. Who wants to play a riot to police? This, way. this is nothing in this game. I just want to show it to you guys, just in case you're curious. If you come down here, it's literally just a big circle. You go down here, you're going to go straight to the corner. Same exact way. From there's the um, there's the downstairs to the cafeteria. That's to the roof. I just want to show you guys so that you know. Uh, you can to go through here, and you don't want to get trapped unless you want to circle all the way around. So, like I said, we built the shield here. I actually, need to be using the shield. The shield is different this time. Demonstration. Really. So, what you're gonna do is when you pull out your shield, you're gonna hold your RT, your fire button, and you're gonna suck up these souls. What it's going to do is it's going to fill your shield up. Okay? Once it fills up your shield, you're going to be able to do what's called like a petrol thingy. Good See to go. Cool. So what you do is, boom. It just takes all of them out, right? But really, that's not what the main goal of this is. Really, your main goal is you're going to need to use that to hit the power source. Basically, powers up. So, like, like say this right here, which really does nothing right now. One second. Cool. Uh, what it would do. It actually doesn't do anything here when you hit this, but you can see how it powers it up. It might actually do something. I just don't know what it does on this one right here in particular, but what we're going to do is before we hit everything and get the pack a punch going, we're going to go through real quick and uh, hit these teleporters, or not teleporters, these All uh, aboard. We're out of here. lightning things or whatever, so you guys can see which ones and what the whole point of it is for. So all this okay, so here's what I'm thinking. That we're this cages, warden guy. Uh, walk through, back through the map so you guys can see everything. Really don't need to hit this. See, this one's fried out. There's no, nothing there you can hit. It doesn't do anything. Same thing as you go down here. Uh, there's no trap, like over there. There's nothing to hit down here. Actually, there is this one. And I'm not even sure what this one does, so we're going to find out together. Let's try to see what that did. What did it do? Oh, I did not even know this. So everybody, you guys got a, a new uh, slick secret. First time discovery. So apparently you hit that power switch and boom. Oh, buddy. Let's just suck your soul up here. Is he going to drop it? It didn't even drop it. It didn't drop it. Alright, so you guys know there, there's got to be a way to drop that. It doesn't really seem to you guys. I didn't know that. First time seeing it. So we're going to continue the tour guide. We're really, like I said, we're just running through it. If you guys remember, this was the little hallway to go get the rope. That was where we put in the numbers for the lock. I'm just giving you guys a little refresher because I don't know how long it's been since any of you played Mob of the Dead. I actually knew this was coming eventually, so I practiced up on Mob of the Dead, hoping that it would actually bring some relevance to the game before, because I do have Black Ops, I have all of the Black Ops games. Although, it did bring some relevance, it, it also threw me for a little bit of loop, because, you know, everything's a little different. Look how crazy this is. This wasn't here like this. This wasn't all chaotic like this. Right? So as we come up here through that dog tear uh, area, we're going to come through the showers. So now where we're going to head is to the roof. I'm going to hit these up. So here's the two times. I'm not going to actually do it because I don't want to sit here and try to um, save up zombies and, and mess with all that. So 
here you know, you hit that switch with the power thing, it opens up this door, bada bing, bada boom, you got the two times. That's the warden's office, uh, that does nothing, uh, there's nothing down there for you to shop in. What we're gonna need to do is go to the top of the cafeteria, so we can go to the roof. I just killed that zombie when I should have took his soul, right here. Hit this shoot, plug this in, boom! Okay, those are ghosts. Out comes ghosts. Those are definitely ghosts. Okay, so bring you the ghost pack-a-punch. Oh, you guys what? found a pack-a-punch. Thanks, fellas. Ghost pack-a-punch. Oh, oh, big boy's coming. Where's he at? Ah, every damn time. There he is. Hey, man, he I'm getting I real sick of you just popping up like that. I got it on walk. So what are you going to do, big boy? Well, since I've got him and the lone wandering zombie, I'm gonna go ahead and pack and punch my guns. I do not like the. They do have the double pack and punch in here, guys. Off, like better figure Black this Ops out 3. quick. And it does give you similar. Because uh, they got like turned and it's called something. It's like brainwashed. What the hell are you up to, Doc? What's got you so damn itchy about this place? Cryo freeze. Okay, see, this one is pretty cool. It kind of slows the zombie and the multiple zombies around, it slows them down. But uh, just want to give you guys a quick description on the weapons. Just a, a quick show. There's more to this place than a devil worshipping warden. Uh, how up to get all your guns? Because that is it, guys. Yeah. We're going to end the video here, guys. So that's it. That is. Okay. So that is Blood of the Dead, guys. We're going to camp around here and play a little bit. Right here with all this okay. Madness Done. Made I'm here. over it. Hey, buddy. You got something in your teeth. The blood of the dead walk through the die for your shield, for your pack of punch, for your perks, everything you need going on. This is a big bad boy. Hey, you ball! Think you dropped your helmet! That fool. That's it, guys. We're gonna run in here. Hey, that fool. Cool it with the second hand smoke. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it was helpful for you, just go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You're gonna need to hit that to get notified of all the upcoming videos which are, drop which are dropping every few days so you're going to want to subscribe to that if you guys had any comments you know where to put them obviously in the comment section any hate mail drop it love mail drop it just drop it all i don't care if you guys want to see me make the blunderbuss acid cat video like i was talking about just drop that in the comments just say we want to see it you know or just just comment the word acid cat or blunderbuss and I will make I'll make that video if we get enough. If we get enough likes on this video, I'll make a part two to show you guys uh, all of the little details of like, where the teleporters go, how to get all the pack a punch weapons, everything like that, uh, the specialty weapons, all of the little Easter eggs. We will make a full video on the Easter eggs if you get uh, enough likes on this and get people to comment down in there. Other than that, I'm out guys, this is Jugster, and we have done the complete tutorial, so you guys, thank you very much, peace out, and here we go.